Alrighty, let's take a look at this question. So not a typical percent antifreeze question, so it was uh, interesting to set it up. So we have a radiator that has 30% antifreeze and it holds 10 quarts when it's full. And we want to know how much must be drained off and then replaced with pure antifreeze to bring the percent up to 50%. So in the question where they say how much must be drained off, we're going to let that equal y. Um, so we'd want to write our let statement, let y equal number of quarts, um, number of quarts of 30% solution removed. And um, we're going to let x equal the number of quarts of pure antifreeze added, which is also something they're asking us to find. Okay, now ironically, those are actually going to be the same value, but in order to set this up as a system of equations, we're going to call one x and call the other one y. Okay, so I set up a table here to kind of demonstrate the different stages of the antifreeze <laughs> escapade. Okay, so 30% solution is kind of what we started with. Now, the first column I have here is what that would be as a decimal, so 0 0.3. Actually, I should almost write decimal above here instead of percent. Um, and the, the amount of solution we would have had would have been 10, because we started with 10 quarts. And the portion of that that would be pure antifreeze in the third column here would be 0 0.3 times 10, so 3 quarts of antifreeze originally. All right, now, next uh, uh, line or row in our table is going to represent how much solution was removed, because that was the next stage. Now, we define that over to the side here as y, so that's what I'm going to put here for solution removed would be y. And the portion of that that was pure antifreeze, since it was 30% originally, would be 0 0.3 times y. Okay, next thing, after that was removed, then we added antifreeze. So that's my next row. And the antifreeze that we added was 100%, or I'm just going to put a 1 there. And the amount we added was x, but it was pure antifreeze, so that means the volume of pure antifreeze would also be x. All right, then finally, we're sitting at our 50% solution after we added that antifreeze. So um, the percent would be 0 0.5. And the solution, the amount or quarts of solution would be 10, because that's what we designed it to be, right? We we're adding it to get it back to 10 uh, quarts. And then the portion of pure antifreeze would be, since it's 50%, 0 0.5 times 10 which gives us five quarts of antifreeze in there. Okay, so there's our table. Now we're gonna make up a couple of equations because we're supposed to solve this using a system of equations. And the first equation is gonna represent the solution and kind of what happened, right? Now it's gonna turn out to be x equals y, but let me show you kind of the thought process. We had 10 quarts of solution. We drained off y amount, so minus y, and then we added the pure antifreeze, which was x, and we wanted to, as our final amount of solution in the radiator, would be 10 quarts again. So if we kind of simplify that, that would be like, uh, you know, if we subtract 10 from both sides, that gets rid of the 10, then we have negative y plus x equals 0, and then bring the y over to the other side, that means x would equal y, which logically makes sense, right? If you drain a certain amount off and then you add it to get to the same volume, of course those two amounts would equal. All right, so that's one equation, y is equal to x or x equals y. Now the next equation is going to represent the antifreeze. So we started with three quarts of pure antifreeze, we removed a certain amount of antifreeze and it was like 30% of what we removed, so minus 0.3y. We're kind of using this column, this last column for this last equation. First equation, we use this column. Okay, then we added some pure antifreeze and that was x and then that 
should equal the amount of antifreeze we had in our final solution, which was 5. All right, and if we simplify that, let's go about doing that. So we'll subtract 3 from both sides, and that would give us negative 0.3y plus x equals 2. And then we can use our other equation and sub in. Let's say we replace uh, y in this equation with the y we have from the other one, which is just x. So we're going to do that. So now that would be zero point, negative 0.3x uh, plus the x we already had equals 2. And add those two x terms together, you would get 0, positive 0.7x equals 2. Then last step, we divide both sides by 0 0.7 to isolate x. And we would get 20 over 7. Or if you wanted to write it as a mixed uh, number, that would be 7 goes into 20 twice with 6 left over. So 2 and 6 sevenths quarts. And we defined x as the quarts of pure antifreeze, but of course x is equal to y. So that would also be the amount we have to drain off of the original solution. And there we go. That would be the answer. I hope that helped.